So I think by now you all know that I'll make a uh, homemade fire paste mixed up with Vaseline and sawdust, wood shavings, you know, uh, whatever I pull off my workbench from projects that I've been doing and then I mix it up. You know, it it's obviously looks, you know, there's a whole bunch of different colours going on from different woods I've been using, but it's basically mixed in with uh, just Vaseline. And uh, I was experimenting earlier in the week with uh, this and uh, ferro rods because this hasn't been very receptive to uh, some of the ferro rods I've tried it on it and I think it was just because it wasn't getting enough spark from the ferro rods and uh, I had been using a one inch uh, spade bit to actually mix the, the Vaseline and the shavings before packing it into these cans. Um, you know, the, uh, the spade bit has a great shape for sort of flattening things out. But you know, you, ha you have an epiphany you know, at, at times and this actually becomes the perfect striker. Um, so what I did is I just removed the point from the spade bit and I dulled the cutting faces and uh, you know this this uh, it actually throws a, a very nice spark and what's great about this is that you have so much additional control over this because I, I hate the I've got big hands and I hate these little itty bitty things you know the, the, the strikers or scrapers or whatever you want to call them that you get with regular uh, you know off the shelf ferro rod uh, you know kits so Whatever the steel is, this tool steel, it responds really well to hard and soft ferro rods. This is one of these oversized uh, ferro rods that you can buy. You know, there's a couple of places online that deal with them. I like it because, um, you know, I can, I can get hold of it with my hands, hold it nicely. So that's, I've got control of the ferro rod. And now, with this one in spade bit, I have the handle, which gives me leverage and better control, and my thumb is locked up against the back of the actual spade so I mean I have got both of these in perfect control so whether you're somebody who strikes forward or pulls back you're almost getting the same you know result which I love so um, I'm going to be staying with the larger items I'll keep the little itty bitty things as backups um, you know, uh, it's, it's, you, you can start fires perfectly with the smaller ones, I've been there, done that, but I just, I've, I really like this combination. Um, it works for me and people with big hands. So having said all of that, I want to see if I can get some kind of uh, response from this fire paste, because say with it being fairly dense, it's been a little bit resistant to uh, a spark fire and has needed a flame but in my tests the other day it, um, it seemed to uh, be responding to this, this increased spark shower that you get with the larger ferro rod and a better striking device so uh, let's see how we get on with this Sometimes with this, it's just a case of um, you know thinning it out so there's less. The spark is more effective. Otherwise, it just gets drowned in the uh, the moisture. Spread this out some more. A little bit of the dry stuff there. Right, 
And there we go. So it's just a case of doing a decent setup on the fire post. And the ferro rod will do the job. All right. So once the stuff is burning, it's uh, it burns at a very high temperature, and you can put fairly large, you know, twigs and things on to to get it kicked off. So I, I always build a, a large base for it to burn down through, as well as me being able to add stuff above for that to burn up. So. It, Kind of ensures your fire is not going to be doing anything stupid. Yeah, and that's uh, so that's pretty easy to do. You know, if you wanted to sit there and make like miniature feather sticks and shavings and things, I guess you know you'd get the, the same result with a ferro rod, as, you know, because it was throwing a really good spark. It's just that I. Uh, needed to ensure that the spark was you know able to be well received so it's just crafting your your base before you put the uh, ferro rod to use I like the uh, the fire paste that I make because ultimately it's waterproof because it's 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 Vaseline so you know you could wade through a river with it and uh, still come out the other end with a uh, you know a, a dry fire source Okay. Yeah. 